What mass of salt or NaCl should you add to 1.50 liters of water in an ice cream maker to make a solution that freezes at negative 12.2 degrees Celsius? Assume complete dissociation of the NaCl and density of 1 gram per ml for water. So this is um, a colligative property question. So specifically freezing point depression. So we know the formula, right, for freezing point depression. That's delta Tf is equal to IKFm. So we know that delta Tf, that's your freezing point of your solvent minus the freezing point of the solution. So that's equal to I Kf M. Now our solvent in the question is water. So we're all familiar with the freezing point of water, right? That's zero degrees Celsius. So even though it's not given in the problem, you should know the freezing point of water. So the freezing point of solvent is zero degrees Celsius minus the freezing point of solution in the problem is 12.2 degrees Celsius. Negative, sorry, negative 12.2 degrees Celsius. And that's equal to I. We know I is called the Van Hoff factor. So how do we know the Van Hoff factor? The problem says, assume complete dissociation of the NaCl. So when you put NaCl in water, it dissociates into ions. So what are the ions making up NaCl? We have the sodium ion and the Cl ion. So there are two ions making up NaCl. So your Van Hoff factor or I is 2. Now Kf stands for the freezing point depression constant or the cryoscopic constant for the solvent. And although it's not given in the problem, again, you should memorize the constant Kf for water. And the Kf of water is 1.86 degrees Celsius kilogram per mole. And then M stands for molality. Since we don't know what molality is, let's just put M. So in this problem, in this first step of the calculation, we are actually solving for the molality. So to solve for molality, what you do is you divide both sides of the equation by 2 times 1.86 degrees Celsius kilogram per mole. So you also divide the right side by that. Okay, so two cancels on the left side. 1.86 also cancels on the, sorry, right side. So what's left on the right side is M or the molality. And on the left side, you just simply type that in your calculator. So that's 0 minus negative 12.2 divided by 2 times 1.86. And that's approximately equal to 3.28. And the unit for molality, so as you can see, The degree Celsius would cancel out, and the kilogram per mole will invert. So the unit for molality is mole per kg. Okay, so now that we have the molality, remember the formula for molality. Molality is moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. 
Okay, we know that the molality from our first calculation, that's 3.28 mole per kg. We don't know the moles of solute. So you just write moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. So in the problem, we are given 1.50 liters of water. So 1.50 liters. We know that 1 liter is equivalent to 1,000 ml. So the liters cancel. Now we have ml. And according to the problem, the density of water is 1 gram per ml. So 1 gram per 1 ml. So the ml would cancel. Finally, you need to convert grams into kilograms. So we know that 1 kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams. So the grams would cancel, and if you solve this in your calculator, you will get 1.50 kilograms. So this is your kilogram of solvent. So you put that into your solution. So to solve for the moles of solute, that is 3.28 moles per kilogram times 1.50 kilograms. So the kilograms would cancel. And if you solve that in your calculator, 3.28 times 1.50, that's equal to 4.92 moles of the solute. Okay, so now that we know the moles of solute, we can now solve for the mass of the solute. Remember, our solute is NaCl. And the problem is asking for the mass of NaCl. So we have 4.92 moles of NaCl. So we need the molar mass of NaCl. So one mole of NaCl, the molar mass of NaCl, if you solve it using your periodic table of elements, that's 58. 0.44 grams of NaCl. So, the moles would cancel out and this gives us the grams of NaCl. And if you solve that in your calculator, 4.92 times 58.44, the answer would be 200 87.5 grams of NaCl. And this is the answer to the question.